boys and girls, my name is Talia Wamboy. Let us bow our heads for the word of prayer. Oh Lord, as we start this lesson, please help us to know your word and help us to be obedient. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Now let us welcome the praise and worship team. These are the gifts of the Spirit, blessings we need in this hour, even more precious than gemstones, fragrance like beautiful flowers, wisdom and knowledge and faith from God, gifts of healing and works of wonders, prophecy and discernment too, speaking in tongues and interpretation. Hi, Shadi. Hi, guys. Guess what happened to what? us today? What happened? Guess what? We mm -hmm. had to walk to another van. You know why? Why? Because the school bus ran out of fuel. Oh, Imagine. no. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. it, that reminds me of what the teacher told us about the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. How does the bus have to do with the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. Now, guys, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is what fuels us from the inside oh. of us. Oh. So, mm -hmm. when we need to keep praying mm -hmm. to keep the fuel inside of us, mm -hmm. we pray for the Holy Spirit to keep us. Ah, ah. Yeah. Yes, and mm -hmm. we also need to keep reading our Bible, mm -hmm. keep serving God, mm -hmm. whether in school, mm -hmm. in church, mm -hmm. even when you're playing. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is nice. I didn't know by serving God, mm -hmm. we keep our fuel inside us all the time. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. Even when we are afraid mm -hmm. and we feel tired, mm -hmm. let us know the Holy Spirit is always with us. That is true. The Holy Spirit is always with us mm -hmm. when we need shelter mm -hmm. and even when we are weak. Yes. Wow. Guys, mm -hmm. let's go and tell all the other boys and girls mm -hmm. about the Holy Spirit and how he gives us the power 
to serve. That's wonderful. Yay. You only have to welcome the Holy Spirit in your heart mm -hmm. and he will help you always. Yeah. I'll serve. I'll serve. I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, my very best. Oh, I'll do my best for you. Won't you do your best for me? I'll do my best, my very best. Oh, I'll do my best for you. <laughs> wow. Let's now. go and serve the Lord. Yeah, yes. let's go. Bye. Bye, boys and girls. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Are you well? My name is teacher Cynthia Mwaniki. And I'm happy to be with you again. We have an exciting lesson for you today. But before we start, let's pray. When we want to pray, what do we do? Yes, we put our hands together. Yes, put your hands together. Close your eyes and then say a prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this morning. We thank you that, Lord, you're going to teach us your word. Help us to understand it. Help us to do what it says. We thank you, Lord, for we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Boys and girls, welcome again to the lesson today. Do you remember what we learned last Sunday? Do you remember? Tell the person seated next to you, maybe your auntie, your mom, your dad. Yes, what we learned last week was the Holy Spirit gives us power to make us holy. Did you remember to do your craft? Did you? Uh-huh. Let's look at those who did their craft. They did an excellent job. Awesome. That was well done. Your work was well, well done. Let's clap hands for each other. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. I'm looking forward to receiving your lesson next Sunday. Boys and girls, we have an exciting lesson today. We are going to learn that the Holy Spirit gives us power to serve. Do you know what the Holy Spirit is? Do you remember what we learned? Uh-huh. The Holy Spirit we learned is actually God. The Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity. The Holy Spirit is our helper and our friend. What about power? That's a big word. Power. Do you know what power is? Power can be shown by this small illustration. Look at this. I have with me a torch. This torch has no light. Yeah? But when I switch it on like this, I put on the power and now it is bright. So I have put on power to let the torch shine. I put that down and switch off the power. And do you know what to serve is? Look at the pictures that are running here. What do you see? 
for our radio listeners, there are several pictures. I can see a picture of a little girl helping her mother set the table. I can also see a picture of a boy sweeping the floor. I can see a picture also of a little girl helping an old lady carrying some goods. And there's even one who is telling someone about Jesus. They are all working. They are serving God. We can serve God in many ways, boys and girls. We can serve God at home when we help our mommy and daddy with work. We can serve God at school. You can also serve God in the church when you collect offertory, when you are doing praise and worship. All these things, you are serving God. Today, our lesson is from the book of Acts, chapter 2. And we're going to learn about a man who served God. His name was Peter. Now, Peter, before the Holy Spirit came upon him, he was still a disciple, a friend of Jesus. But before the Holy Spirit came before him, he was afraid even to tell people about Jesus. He was afraid to do many things. But when the Holy Spirit came upon him, Peter became strong. He became powerful. And he was able to tell many people about Jesus. Let's look at the video and see what happened. These are the apostles. Hello! They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya! So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, Jesus! They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. 
they were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshipped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Here, it was a nice video, wasn't it? What did we learn? Can you share it with someone next to you? Yes. There are some three things I saw and I heard. Number one, what I saw was that Peter, after he received the Holy Spirit, Many people came to believe in Jesus because he told them about Jesus. Remember, he was not able to do these things before he received the Holy Spirit. The second thing that I learned is that Peter was able even to heal a man who could not walk. We call that lame Peter healed a lame man because he was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. The third thing that I saw was that Peter was able to share his things with those who did not have. For example, Peter was able to share his food with the needy. Boys and girls, these three things, Peter and his friends were able to do because they had the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, it would have been difficult to do these things. We learn that to be able to serve God, we need the Holy Spirit. I want to invite you, boys and girls, to invite the Holy Spirit in your hearts. But you know, the Holy Spirit cannot come in us when we have not received Jesus. You must first welcome Jesus, and after you have welcomed him, we, you pray that you receive the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit comes in. So I want to say a prayer for you to accept the Lord Jesus in your heart. Say this prayer with me. Close your eyes. Yes, close your eyes and put your hands together and let us ask Jesus to come into our lives. Yes, put your hands together and close your eyes and say these words after me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you that you have taught me that to receive the Holy Spirit, I need to have you in my heart. Dear Lord, I want you in my heart today. Forgive my sin. Make me a child of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, have you just said that very important prayer? You have done a good thing. I want to go ahead and pray for you now to receive the Holy Spirit. Remember, the Holy Spirit will help you 
have power to do the things of God. Like Peter and the other disciples, including miracles, including helping the needy. Boys and girls, again, put your hands together. Yes, put your hands together. Close your eyes and let us say this powerful prayer to have the Holy Spirit in our lives. Dear Holy Spirit, thank you for reminding me that to serve, I need you. This morning, I invite you into my life. Help me, O oh God, to be like Peter and the disciples, the friends of Jesus, to be able to do, to be able to serve you in a mighty way so that I can make Jesus happy in my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming into my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for saying that prayer with me. And now we are going to say the memory verse. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. And you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses. And you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses. Boys and girls, the craft for today is based on the memory verse that we have just said. You will need some marker pens. You will need color pencils. You will also need some glue and some paper cuttings, a pair of scissors to which mommy and daddy are going to help you cut, and some plain pieces of paper like this and like this. They can be of one color or they can be of different colors. It's very easy. So what we are going to do, one, is to cut a piece of paper like this. Make sure this piece of paper can go around your head completely. Put it down. And then also have another piece of paper, write the memory verse and attach it to your plain piece of paper. After that, Get some plain piece of paper. Ask mom to help you cut the flames. They should be of different sizes, sizes. Big, bigger, biggest. And put glue to make it one flame with different colors. Take your long strip of paper. Attach it to the flame of different colors. Glue them together and tie it around your head. It looks like that. And you can share it with your friends just to tell them that when you receive the Holy Spirit, you have power to serve God. It's been a pleasure to share today's Bible lesson with you. And until next time, Bye.